Welcome to June's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is unique paths. A robot is located at the top left corner, and we want to find out how many unique paths are there to the finish, which is the bottom right. The robot can only move down or right at any point in time. So that makes it a lot easier. So this isn't too bad. It's a dynamic programming problem. And let's say that we had a grid that looks like this, right? It's um, three, uh, four by three. And we know that we're going to be starting here at the top left one. Well, how many paths are there to get to the first row of any of these cells? And we know already, since the robot can only move right, there's only going to be one path to all three, all, all uh, of the cells on the first row. In the same way, in the first column, there's only going to be one path to all of the columns in the or in cells in the first column because you can only move down. There's no other way to get there. Now, what about everything in the middle. Well, we know that we can get here from up above or from the left. So there's going to be two paths, right? It's just this path plus this path. Okay, now that we know that there's two paths here, what about this cell? Well, we know we can only come from up here or to, to the left. So that's going to be one plus two, two, that's going to be three paths. And same way, it's just four here. And we can just continue this on um, until we reach our final end, which is going to be 10 unique paths. So let's code that out. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Let's first create our DP array. And we're going to say, okay, for the, um, we'll say zero, for, let's say, column in range of M. And we're going to have to do that for, um, we'll create a list of lists for row in range of N. That's going to be the number of rows. Now we want to first fill out the first row, right? So for, uh, to say I in range of, of uh, number of columns, so that's M, we'll say, hey, DP of the first row uh, for every single column, or make that I, make that equal to one. All right, and for I in range of all the rows, make the first cell in each column, the first column, equal to one as well. So that's just going to be I here and zero here, make that equal to one. So now our first row and first column are all filled up with ones. Now we got to do our the main part of our algorithm, which is going to be for row in range of, and now we're going to go one to N. And we'll do it for each column, for a column in range of 1 to M. We'll say, hey, DP row at this column, just make it equal to the, um, the sum of the one on top, so row minus 1, plus DP of the one to the left, minus 1. And finally, we can just return our bottom right one, and that's going to be what? Uh, n minus 1, m minus 1. So let me just make sure that works. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works. So submit that, and there you go, accepted. So this one's not too bad. It's a um, very typical DP problem, and one that you should definitely know. So hopefully that was clear. So thank you.